Have you ever thought if a lobster could hear? Most people hear. Presumably, you're hearing this right now. Hearing is a vital tool for survival, present in nearly every species. But does a lobster hear? From a paper out of a combination of effort from Woods Hole Institute and the Laboratory of Environmental Sciences Marin in France, the answer is yes. But for the longest time, pretty much up until this year, we didn't know for sure. It's not something you might have given thought to. But here's the thing. Science has known since about 1957 that lobsters produce buzzing sounds. These sounds are produced by the lobster through the rapid contraction of internal muscles located at the base of their second antenna, which causes their carapaces to vibrate. So, we've known for some time that lobsters have been scuttling around on the seafloor, buzzing away like a Jeopardy champion. But why? It was suggested that these buzzes could be used to deter predators, and recently male lobsters were observed making buzzing noises while engaging in combat. But no true conclusions could be drawn from this, because nobody actually knew how, or even if, lobsters had the ability to detect sound. Marine invertebrates' ability to detect sound is not something very well understood by science at present. But I don't know if you've ever looked at a lobster, but I don't really see any ears on this thing. However, internally and externally, lobsters have many sensory receptors that could detect low-frequency particle motion or sound. The prime candidate for an ear is the statocyst, which lies at the base of the antenna. Essentially, a fluid-filled organ containing sand grains. These little grains stimulate sensory hairs, giving the creature its sense of gravity and balance. But it wasn't clear that it could be a sound-detecting organ until it was discovered in 2005 that studies on crabs and prawns indicated that their statocysts are, in fact, their auditory organ. Seeing as it was still unknown at the time what organ was responsible for the lobster, more information was needed. I'm only going to briefly mention how the experiment was conducted, because, quite frankly, it would just in no way be interesting. All you need to know is they strapped these 16 lobsters down, stuck them with electrodes, and blasted them with sound. To control variables, some tests were done with the lobsters having their antenna and statocysts removed, or being sprayed down with lacquer like you'd varnish a piece of wood. So, what did they discover? Well, lobsters can hear, and they hear with their entire body. Little tiny sensory organs, or hair fans, are found all over the body and limbs. These hair fans detect particle motion under 300 hertz, with best response around 100 hertz. And those buzzing noises that they make, they sit right around 100 hertz too. The lobsters, having been lacquered, were unable to move their hair fans, and showed diminished or no response to sound at all. Do lobsters talk to one another? Chatting away at the proverbial underwater water cooler? Scientists say it's likely, but further testing is needed. I'm going to say yes. Yes, they do. So, lobsters can hear, and they can communicate with one another. So next time you stroll over to the grocery store tank with all its prisoners, make sure to say hello. They can probably hear you and are buzzing back their pleas for help. And if they can hear us in the grocery store, that raises the question if they can hear us in the ocean, because we make a lot of noise down there. We know the anthropogenic sound, causing whales to have higher levels of stress. Things like cargo shipping, pile driving, drilling, hinder the whale's communication. It's like standing in a house party, music blaring, people yelling, 
all while you're trying to talk to your friend who's right next to you. While it's not exactly known what effect we could be having on lobsters, if any, just because we don't know doesn't mean that nothing could be happening. If whales are anything to go off of, it's probably not having a good effect on our hard-shelled friends down there. So, we know that lobsters can hear, which is great. But we also know that we might be having a negative effect on them due to our noise pollution. It's important these discoveries get made and are recognized and understood so we can better protect these animals so they can still be around for more discoveries to be made. That's it.